Hi friends, do you know about the fundamental building block of all modern electronic devices? It is called integrated circuit. Integrated circuit, I see, fabrication techniques involve the processes and methods used to manufacture integrated circuits, also known as microchips or chips. These techniques are essential in creating the intricate electronic circuits that form the backbone of modern electronic devices. The growth of electronics started with the invention of vacuum tubes and associated electronic circuits. This activity is termed vacuum tube electronics till 1960s. Subsequently, the evolution of solid-state devices and the consequent development of integrated circuits are responsible for the present status of communication, computing, and instrumentation. Due to its small dimension, low cost, and very high reliability even the common man is familiar with its applications like smartphones, laptops, and other electronic devices. Metal oxide silicon field effect transistors commonly known as MOSFETs are electronic devices used to switch or amplify voltages in circuits. It is a voltage-controlled device and is constructed by three terminals, gate G, drain D, and sources. CMOS stands for Complementary Metal Oxide Semiconductor, which refers to a type of integrated circuit technology widely used in the semiconductor industry. CMOS technology is known for its low power consumption, high noise immunity, and compatibility with digital logic circuits. In CMOS technology, transistors are the key building blocks. Transistors are electronic devices that can amplify or switch electronic signals. CMOS technology utilizes a pair of complementary transistors, N-type MOSFET, metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor, and P-type MOSFET. Here's a brief overview of how CMOS technology works. 1. Transistors, the N-type MOSFET, N-MOS, and P-type MOSFET, PMOS, are constructed using different regions of a silicon substrate. These transistors have three terminals, source, drain, and gate. A. N-MOS, it consists of a source and drain region, both doped with N-type impurities, and a gate electrode separated from the channel region by a thin insulating layer, oxide. B. P-MOS, it has a similar structure to N-MOS, but the source and drain regions are doped with P-type impurities. 2. Complementary pair, in CMOS technology. NMOS and PMOS transistors are connected in a complementary fashion. When the MOS transistor is conducting, on state, the PMOS transistor is in the non conducting, off state, and vice versa. This complementary pair forms the basis of CMOS logic gates. 3. Logic gates, CMOS logic gates, such as AND, OR, NOT, and XOR gates are constructed using combinations of NMOS and PMOS transistors. By appropriately connecting these transistors, complex digital circuits can be built. Here's an overview of the traditional IC fabrication technique, known as the CMOS, complementary metal oxide semiconductor, process, which is widely used in different industries. 1. Design and Layout the initial stage is to design the blueprint of the circuit's functionality and physical layout using computer-aided design, CAD, tool. The design includes defining the components, connections, and dimensions of the circuit. 2. Substrate preparation. The fabrication process begins with a silicon wafer, which serves as the base material for an integrated circuit. The wafer is typically made from a single crystal of silicon and is thoroughly cleaned to remove impurities. 2. In the Zakralski method, crystal growth starts with the insertion of a small seed crystal into a melting crucible, pulling the seed upwards to obtain a single crystal, then cut into the wafers. 
3. Oxidation, a thin layer of silicon dioxide is grown or deposited on the wafer's surface. This layer acts as an insulator and protects the underlying material. 4. Photolithography, a light-sensitive material called a photoresist is applied to the wafer's surface. A photo mask, containing the desired circuit pattern, is then placed over the photoresist. Ultraviolet light is passed through the mask, transferring the pattern onto the photoresist. 6. Etching, the exposed portions of the photoresist are removed, leaving behind the desired pattern on the wafer surface. The wafer is then subjected to a chemical or plasma etching process, which selectively removes the silicon dioxide layer or other materials where the photoresist has been removed. Seven, doping, dopants, such as phosphorus or boron, are introduced into specific regions of the wafer this to modify its electrical properties. process is known as doping properties. and is performed by techniques like diffusion or ion implantation. Nine, deposition, thin films of various materials, such as conductors, aluminum and amp, copper, insulators, silicon oxide and semiconductors, for example, polysilicon, are deposited onto the wafer surface. Physical vapor deposition, PVD, or chemical vapor deposition, CVD, techniques were used for deposition. 10. Metallization, metal layers, typically aluminum or copper, are deposited onto the wafer's surface to form interconnections between different sur These metal layers are patterned and etched to create the desired wiring structure. 11. Annealing, high temperature processes, such as annealing, is often performed to activate dopants, 12. repair crystal damage, packaging and testing, and improve the materials After completing the fabrication process, the individual chips on the wafer are separated and packaged into a Testing is performed to ensure that the manufactured integrated circuits meet quality standards and function The ages of IC fabrication depend on the number of packed transistors inside the chips. Large scale, very large scale etc. It's important to note that this overview provides a simplified explanation of the integrated circuit fabrication technique. The actual process involves numerous steps, variations, and additional techniques depending on the specific requirements of the integrated circuit being manufactured. Furthermore, advancements in technology continue to drive innovations and improvements in fabrication techniques, enabling higher density, faster, and more energy-efficient microchips. Thanks for watching. Follow for more interesting modern science and technology related videos.